let's continue talking about house training for puppies. Last week we had five days of continual rain. It rained and rained. So when the people came to class, their complaint to me was, we were doing really nicely with our house training, but now with this rain, they are making the mess in the house because the dogs don't want to go outside. Well, yes, it's not very nice to go outside, but again, you have to be consistent and keep this consistency up. So you might have to go out with the dog under an umbrella. If you go out together, there's every likelihood of the dog doing something outside. But if you're going to stay inside and try and send the puppy out, it's not going to happen. I remember having to go out under the umbrella when my puppy was young, walk outside, stand there and wait. And eventually something does get done, you can come inside. You need to be able to go with that puppy. However, we also have the little dogs. Little dogs hate to get their little footies wet. So that is a huge problem. You take them out onto the grass and they immediately go, Oh no, I can't do anything. So now you might have to make a backup plan. And the backup plan is putting something down in the kitchen or somewhere where you can try and get them to use that. I suggest newspaper. That's a good way of using it. You can buy these puppy training pans, but for me, they usually are a waste of money. I have so many people who say to me, I bought those training pads and the puppy chewed it up. So yes, training pads might not work. You can make your own training pad. You put the newspaper down and if the dog uh, does a little wee, you mop it up and then you hang it out to dry. Obviously not when it's raining, but you put it somewhere to dry. Then you put that down. There's every likelihood that the puppy will come back and use that newspaper again. You've made your own training pads. Keep it fairly close to the door where you want them to go out. And hopefully, once the rain is over, you can start taking the newspaper out and putting it in the spot where they usually go. But training in weather, particularly rainy weather, overseas if you have snow, um, it is difficult to house train a puppy. So you might have a puppy going all the way back and then you just have to start again from the beginning. When things go wrong, you go backwards and start again. Don't get cross with the puppy, as I've said before, because now you're dealing with weather and the puppies really don't want to go out and get their feet wet or stand in the rain and get wet. Older dogs usually are more tolerant. They know they have to go out and they will please you by going outside and quickly coming back in again. Another problem is winter time when it's very cold the owners say to me, oh, it's so cold, I can't go outside and stand there. Well, you have to. If you want to get your puppy house trained, you need to take the time and effort to go outside with your puppy. Doesn't matter if it's raining, doesn't matter if it's snowing, doesn't matter if it's freezing cold. You go out, when the dog has done something good, puppy, bring it back inside. So you have to always put in the effort and then you will have success.